Hi, and welcome to day 13 of the 30-day yoga challenge. To begin today, sit back on your heels, draw the shoulders back, and have your knees together. You can always sit on a block as well if this is uncomfortable for you. Hug the belly in and reach the arms up, interlacing the fingers. Extend all the way up. You can gaze up at your hands if you like. And begin to bend towards the right side as you extend the left. Find your way to center and extend to the left side as you reach over. Come back to center and take the hands out and behind you. Interlace the fingers there and begin to fold forward as you exhale. Reach the arms up nice and high. You can keep your hands, your palms together or you can separate them. Begin to come back up, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hug in through the belly. Begin to come back up. Exhale as you fold. This time release your hands. Bring them to the floor and come up to sit. Bring your right hand out as you reach over with the left arm, stretching through the left side of your body. Bring the left hand down and reach over with the right arm, extending through the right side. Come back to center. Take the hands to the floor in front of you and lift up into your table, separating your feet and knees to hip distance. Let the hips swing side to side a few times. Bring the big toes together, send the knees out wide, walk the hands forward, cup the hands, press into the fingertips and keep the arms active as you stretch them forward. Reach your left arm over towards the right side, bringing the left shoulder to the ground and twisting. Keep cupping your right hand. Let your left arm relax, the left hand relax. Extend through your left arm and send that right arm through to the left side. Try to bring your right shoulder as close to the ground as you can, relaxing through your right arm as you reach with your left. Come back to your center, lengthen, and come up into your table once again. Tuck your toes under, bring the knees and feet to hip distance. Stay on the fingertips and see if you can lift up into a downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, and you can always bring the hands down to the floor if being on the fingertips is a little too much right now. So I'm bringing my hands down as I take a regular down dog, lengthening all the way. Bend knees and reach up with your right arm, send it up nice and high, spin it open and take a three-legged dog. Stretch out through the, both legs to reach the psoas and to really stretch out through the psoas of the right leg. Keep sending that right foot towards the left and then bring it down. Lift the left leg and let's do the same thing on this side. Bend the knee into a three-legged dog and then from there start to extend your left leg, sending it up nice and high and spinning the hip. Take the foot back down to the mat. Lift the right leg up once more. Bring the knee in towards the chest and step the foot through. Back knee comes to the ground. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Walk your right foot out towards the edge of the mat and your left hand to the, edge of the, to the other edge of the mat. Take your right hand to your leg and begin to spin that leg open as you extend the right arm. So you're trying to come to the outer edge of the right foot as you let that right knee drop. Find your way back to center, walking the foot in directly in front of your hip. Lengthen the spine, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee off the ground. Straighten both legs and then bend both knees. Straighten and bend. If you like, you can have your hands on blocks or on a chair as you rock forward and back. Bending the knees as you come forward and straightening them as you go back. And then send yourself back into a downward facing dog. The left leg lifts, bring it in, step the foot through, back knee to the ground. Walk the foot out to your left side, the left foot and the right hand to the right edge of the mat. Begin to open up as you twist to the left. Send the left knee out to the side, coming to the outer edge of your left foot, releasing through that left leg a little bit more without forcing, and bring the hand back down. Walk the left foot in, 
Tuck the toes, the back toes, and lift the knee. And once again, begin to rock forward and back, bending the knees as you come forward and straightening them as you send it back, stretching out both legs. Come forward into your lunge and step back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, inhale, send the right leg up behind you, reach it up nice and high, and then bring it down, bend the knees, send the left leg, and bring it down. Take one step forward with your right foot to stretch out the hamstrings, and then a step forward with your left foot. One step forward with your right foot, one step forward with your left foot. Try to keep the legs as straight as you can. Maybe you need to come up a little higher on the fingertips. Another step forward. And one more step forward. Hopefully you're in a forward fold. If not, just take another step and come into a, a halfway fold. Bow over your legs. Let your body soften. Take hold of opposite elbows. Let your head hang between your arms. And then take the hands back to the floor. Bend your knees a lot. Soften there. Inhale, come halfway up, hands to shins, exhale as you bow. Soften, bend the knees, press into the feet, begin to come up. Inhale, the arms all the way up, interlace the fingers, and extend. Separate the feet a little wider than your hips, the right hand comes to the leg, extend over with the left arm, sending it all the way. Come back up, inhale, take your left hand to the leg and send that right arm over as you slide the left hand down, stretching through the right side. Come back to center, bring the feet together as we conclude today's video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.